Hold on, though. Like, am I in Grand Theft Auto or am I a real life person? Damn. Fuck out my face! Ew! Girl, don't laugh, bitch! Don't let me! Don't laugh, ho! Shut the fuck up! You need a new nigga? It's the big NOV number three of the month. Big dog birthday. Oh shit, she's still pissed off. Damn, that shit's crazy shit. Can I come back for that? I think I just wanted to come back for my Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Iceberg Slim, aka Coach Denon, here on JV TV on my birthday. We out. Thank you so much. Oh, I love that. I love that. I'm uh, I'm 27. I'm unk age now. I'm big grown. Yeah. How old are y'all? 23. 23. 22. 22. Ah, uh, yeah. It come fast. But I'm glad y'all got hop on. We got the lovely, beautiful. Thank you. What? Your name? Oh, <laughs> Kiara. Kiara. I said that. All right, and the other lovely. Lindsay. So boom. My first question for y'all. How many dates until you cut off your roster for a dude you're seeing? Uh, I say three. Three? And then you cutting off everybody? Like, no questions? Yeah. Even that toxic ex? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, I like that answer. What about you? Until they ask me to be exclusive. I'm dating mm. everybody. <laughs> okay, how long does it usually take niggas to ask you to be exclusive? Maybe like, like three or four dates, I think. I would guess. Three or four, oh, three or four days? Oh, dates, and then they, dates. oh, dates. Okay, I was like, damn. You gotta pop in like this shit, all right. Shit, let me know. God damn, all right. I feel that. So for you, three dates, for you, three or four. That's not a bad time. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So that means, honestly, if I'm able to get your number tonight, we could be in like matching PJs by December, right? <laughs> I mean, we could. <laughs> all right, good. I'm glad you see the vision, for sure. All right, so my next question for you is do you really want to be like equal to your partner or do you just want to be taken care of your whole life um i definitely do want to be taken care of but equal no no not equal not fucking with it why not because like i'm my own person and i'm gonna do it like i still have to do my me and like why would i be equal with my partner that doesn't make sense so what what's like the percentage you think you should be in a relationship if not equal I say we meet halfway, 50-50. Okay, so somewhat equal. Yeah. Like, meet in the middle. Not, like, it. all the way equal, but somewhat equal. Like, 50-25, I guess. Maybe 50-50, probably. Okay, we have to think about it. All right, we can talk about that yeah. one day later. What about you? Did you hear my question? Yeah. I, I know, it's kind of far. Um, no, I also do want to be taken care of, but um, that's just because, I mean, I'll take care of things in the house if you can take care of us, like, outside of that. That's okay. how I feel. Okay, so that means you're like, you'll take care of like the cleaning, the cooking, the whatever he don't want to take care of because he's tired from doing all the yeah, other shit. Yeah, if he's working for me, he's providing, that's, yeah. I feel that's it. That's what I want. <laughs> I can meet you there. That makes sense. All right, my last question. What's the prettiest reason you ever cut a nigga off before? Um, the what? The pettiest reason you all, you uh cut somebody off before. Uh, telling me that I can't go out with my homegirls like I don't I can't fuck with that because if you can't accept me for me and what I do then there's nothing like yeah. I don't care how petty that is yes it's all about respect but at the end of the day like you got to do what you got to do and at the end of the day it's you and that's it so like I feel like yeah if a nigga trips about me going out I'm not fucking with that if he can't handle a bad bitch don't get a bad exactly, bitch exactly exactly no, yeah, me and you, we here. I understand. All right, for you, what's the pettiest reason you ever cut a nigga off before? <laughs> the exact same reason, and I actually cut oh, someone bro. off today <laughs> for that reason. Oh, cause, oh, and then, oh, and you still came outside? Yeah, I would. Well, yeah, he Damn. didn't want me coming out here to Houston with my homegirl. Oh, my fuck pizza. him, then. Yeah, we never would have met. Wait, so where y'all from? Um, I live in Austin. Austin? Okay, you also live in Austin? Yeah. That's great. We about to be out in Austin very next week. Yeah. Can't wait to see y'all out there. Y'all going to be at 6th Street? All right, best. So we can rekindle this all next week then. Sure. Most dope. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that nigga super famous. This, this the most famous nigga I know. What's good? 
Can't you tell? Can't you tell? Yes, sir. What's good, bro? Big bro, give me a dollar. Yo. No, we probably gonna get like maybe five more interviews. Y'all gonna stay in there or y'all gonna move around some more after that? Um, we'll probably walk back like this way and then go this way. We definitely gonna have my numbers, so. It was good to be here. What's the pettiest thing you ever cut a nigga off for? Uh, his voice. You said his voice? His voice. For why? His voice? Yep. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Because if you, if you, if it's his voice, he got your number with his voice. So how did, why was, why did you fuck with him then? Oh, he like texted you for your number. Ah. Uh, so how, how long he got before he before you deaded it? Not long. That's tough. What, it was too like light, too soft? Too, it was ugly. I don't know. Fair it's enough. Hard. I feel it. Yeah. I feel it. What about you? What? What's the pettiest thing you ever cut a nigga off for? Cut a nigga off for? Yeah. Hella stuff. I cut him do off because he had a cat. I cut him do because he had a dog that was sleeping on the bed. I had cut him do off because this nigga owned a zoo. No, he had a pet. So Wait, how many pets. how many pets he had? He had two. He had a dog and a cat. And you cut him off because he had pets in general, or you cut him off because he had a cat? Because the cats was, the cats and the dog were too comfortable. Like they were too comfortable. Okay. So I didn't like that. How often they would sleep in the bed? A while. A couple times. I didn't like that. He was white. <laughs> how did I know? How could I know? I Ah, from Iowa. Okay, I feel it. All right, boom. My next question for you. Do y'all really want to be equal in a relationship, or do you want to just be taken care of for the rest of your life? Yeah, I want to be equal. Yeah, I want to be equal. Okay, so what's equal mean to you when you say equal? Half, half. Half, half. Oh, like 50%? Half, half. Okay. Okay, so boom, when I ask that question, I really just mean like, if you had the option, would you not just want to, like, have no responsibility at all and then the nigga just, like, making your life just effortless, effortlessly your world? I want responsibility. Okay, how, okay, how much responsibility? Like, 50? Yeah, 50. I like to work. I feel it. Understood. So what about you? Would you, do you really just, like, want to be equal in a relationship or do you want a nigga to just, like, take care of you and everything you got going on? It really depends. depends. On what? Like, if he's doing everything, then yeah, yeah. I'll do everything too. You know, 50-50. I'll do 50-50. It depends on the right moves, right guy. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's 50-50. What's 50-50 to you? Doing, like, half on rent, half on rent, half on groceries, or, like, you do the the car, I'm going to do the rent. What's 50-50? Like, well, basically, like, half on rent and, like, half on groceries. If you bought the car, I'll pay for the insurance, the title. Okay, that's lit. Stuff. Okay. If you bought the ring, I'll buy his ring. Like, let's say we had a wedding. All right, say less. I'll pay the venues, you pay for the food, or you the vice versa. Like, mm. you know. I feel it. Okay, boom. What's the best thing you can cook? I ain't gonna lie. Why you look like you over here posing? You, do you model? Because you for sure was just like hitting that. <laughs> That model, nah, for sure. What's, what's, what's the best thing you could cook? Um, African food. Like what? Like what? Like uh, fufu? Kudra. Like? Kudra. Tell me about that. I ain't had that before. What's that? Like you have it with um, kisla, and you dip it and you eat it. Like together, it's like bread, but it's soft. Oh, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Talk. You can make some for me? Yeah. What? For you? Yeah, for me. If you want some. I, I fucking love song. Yeah. That song good as fuck. All right, well, we gonna tap in on that. What's the best thing you could cook? Mm, ramen. Ramen. She said ramen. Oh, ramen. Like the noodles. Girl, you can cook. I can. What you could cook besides ramen? Lentils. I can make lentils. Alfredo. Yeah. 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 Niggas love Alfredo. Niggas love Alfredo. I feel it. All right, boom. Last question for you. What's something on your bedroom bucket list? Bedroom bucket list? Yeah. I don't know. That's like, I don't know. I never thought about that. Take never your time. I'm going to spin the block on you. All right. So, boom. Last question. 
What's something that's on your bedroom bucket list? What I mean? Like something you never did before in the bedroom that you want to do. I want to get my ass ate. Oh, you ain't never had your ass ate no. before? You think that's something you would like? Yeah. What make, so what makes you think you would like it? You never had it. Because it's, I don't know. <laughs> you know. I just know. <laughs> From the story? Yeah. I feel you. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, she said, she said she would have her ass ate because she never had that, that before. I don't, I don't know what you have. Okay, so what's your bucket list? Mm. Probably out the mirror or like in front of the window or something. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. On like some balcony shit. Yeah, like yeah. at a hotel or something. Yeah, yeah. okay. Like I see the vision. Yeah. I see the vision. No, I'm fucking with it. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, aka Coach Down here on JV TV. I'm here with the one, Marciano. Hey, and we're gonna ask him a few questions today. We on. Damn, bro. Washington Avenue, and it's jumping. Uh, it's also my birthday. So, you know, big ups to me. You gonna take a shot? I'll take a shot. That's a bet. Say less. Y'all can quote him on that. First question. What's, uh, how many dates until you cut off your roster for a girl? Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? Ask that How many dates until you cut off your roster for a girl? I ain't gonna lie. I only cut off my roster for a girl once, you know what I'm saying, once she starts spending money on me. Mm. You working the right way. You, you know you're not moving backwards, you're moving forwards. I like, yeah, you thinking outside the box, okay. And how long does that usually take for you? Man, usually after, you know what I'm saying, one to two dates, if she rocking with me, you know what I'm saying, I put my, I put my, ro I never fully cut off my roster, I kind of just put them on pause. Okay, and what's the type of shit they be buying you? Or spending money on you, like, for it. You know what I'm saying? It'll be anything. If they like me, they'll spend whatever. They'll pay half my rent or the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Might even pay a nigga card note. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I don't be chasing. I wait for the ones who like me, because I know she sees something. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's free sauce right there. I feel it. Yes, All right, boom, next question. What's the pettiest reason you ever cut a girl off of? Man, if she got a stanky box, ain't no way we getting around that. You know what I'm saying? I don't even, honestly, boom, that, that one don't count, because I don't even think that's petty. That's, that's just some hygiene. Nah, nah, fuck that. That's okay. some, we got to hold them accountable. That's just some all hygienic right, shit. Right. No, nah, that's not petty at all. all right, let's say what's, what's some petty I cut a girl off for? Um, shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's say I'm out with her in public and shit, and she, she give another nigga her phone number, you know what I'm oh, saying, okay. while she with me, then I'm- Oh, no, yeah, she bugging. She yeah, done. Yeah, she done. She's cooked. That shit is dead. Yeah. Dead. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here they playing that shit up in there. That's that shit. Uh, so, boom, last question for you. Do you want your uh, next relationship to be like 100% you just got full control over it? Or you want your girl to do like 50% of like the responsibility? Or you as a man just gonna like, nah, I got it. We gonna go this way. To be honest, it just depends on the type of relationship, right? Yeah. The, the, right now, the, the, the type of girl that I really wanna be in a relationship with is somebody who's done the inner work, you know what I'm saying? So if I'm with a girl who's done the inner work, I know she ain't gonna be looking for me to do the whole thing. You know, it, it, it ain't even gonna be 50-50. It's gonna be like, all right, whatever I got, it'll be sometimes 80, sometimes 20. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. sometimes I'll yeah. put in 80, she'll put 20, and sometimes she'll do that, you know, because she understands, like, we live in America. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all got similar problems, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. the right, the type of girl I'm looking to be in a relationship with, she ain't gonna be looking for me to do everything for her, because she understands, like. I just wanna shout out to them, because they killed their fit. God damn. Y'all on it. Oh. Well, no, keep, you were speeding, keep continuing. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing the inner work myself, the personal development work. So the only girl I see myself actually being in a relationship with is someone that's done the same thing. If not, she for recreational use. And if she just for rec recreational use, you know what I'm saying? I'll buy her some food, some Casamigos. She can come to the crib, but other than that, that's it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Respect. You look amazing, you killed that shit. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, aka Coach Down here on JV TV. Right now, I'm with the one, the only. My name is Jonathan. Okay, and the other counterpart? Jose. 
What's your What's your costume? Who, what, what's your costume? Astronauts, bro, but it's a little hot, so I gotta, I gotta, you know. Okay. I just came out of work, man. Hey, fucking come <laughs> I work for Tesla, man. SpaceX. Oh, so you got, you got you one of the robots? SpaceX, yeah, man, SpaceX. All right, I feel it. So, boom, my first question for y'all. What is the sign of a fake-ass friend? So, we got, we, we're in a group of four, and they fucking left us because they didn't want to take interviews, so. I'll expose them, I'll expose them. Who are they expose them? His social security is 532 Yeah, talk to them. Yeah, talk about it. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> What's your answer? Yeah, those motherfuckers that left us. They straight That's up tough. just left. We were like, hey, wait, come, at least wait for us. They just fucking left. That's tough. That's some unsolid shit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't accept that as a friend of mine. But hey, my next question for y'all. How many dates does it take to have with a girl until you cut off your roster for? I say three, bro. Three? Yeah. And you cut off everybody? I mean, it depends. Even, on, it depends even the on. toxic ex? It depends. Oh, the ex, she, she been gone. Oh, okay, that's dead. Uh, it depends, you know, how spread out the dates are, you feel me? Okay. How long does three days usually take for you? I say about three, a month, a month, a month. I ain't mad at you. Niggas be working. That's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's a I'm solid time. America, dog. Okay. Shit. All right. And what about for you? How long until you cut a How long until you cut your roster off for a girl? How many dates? I would say uh, at least five dates. I get five to know dates. the girl real good. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, baby, four. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> nah, I'm pretty drunk. <laughs> hey. I'm fucking with it. I'm trying to match y'all time because today's my birthday, so I'm also getting drunk today. So shout out to me oh, for my birthday. Day, Appreciate that, my guy. Hey, Appreciate that. We're not sure. Y'all be safe. Hey, y'all catch up with y'all fake ass friends. Yeah. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Iceberg Slim, aka Coach Down here on JV TV. Right now, I'm with two lovely people. Yes, uh, Mac Darrow. Big Shore. Hey, talk to him. And my first question for y'all: How many dates did it take for y'all to cut y'all roster off for each other? Mm, man, it, it, it um. And how many should it usually take? How many should it usually take? We, we, it was a little complicated at first, you know what I'm saying? But once like we that. locked in, yeah. like we got a little one and everything, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. y'all locked in for real. Yeah, for real. we locked in. Okay, now, okay, you know okay, what okay, saying? okay. No yeah, cap. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it, I feel it. Okay, and what about, what, what's your answer? What about for you? We got a little one, we locked in. Been locked in. No, I, I ain't lie. I ain't gonna lie. We was in the, uh, we was in one of those spots earlier. I seen y'all turning up in there. Y'all y'all look locked in. Love to see that black love. Love to see it. Okay, so boom, my next question. What's the, the pettiest reason y'all ever cut somebody off before? Arguing. <laughs> Argu arguing over what, though? Because it's certain re it's certain reasons where arguing is okay, but like some small, like, I don't give shit. a fuck what it is. <laughs> oh, you did, oh, no tolerate, no, at all. tolerate, no, no bullshit. Yeah. For Say real, less bro. then, all right, that's, that's all right. We talking about the same thing. We on the same time in there. All right, what about for you? When somebody pissed me off on some fuck shit. And describe some fuck shit for me. When I don't agree with them, when they on some fuck shit that I don't agree with. Some arguing shit. Yep. <laughs> I see why y'all locked in. Yeah. All right, bet. So, boom, my last question for y'all. Uh-oh, the tacos are here. Man, they got no cheese in there. They fucking around, folks. That's your last question. You got to go get your condiments and all that stuff right there in the front. Chicken. They ain't got no milk and cheese in there. My, hey, I melted cheese. My my last question was. Extra? I need melted Do you do you really like feel like uh, you want to be equal a hundred percent in a relationship, or do you really just want to be like taken care of your whole life and like not have nothing to worry about or responsibility? I don't want to be equal. I don't want to be taken care of. Tell me why. Why why you why you don't want to be put up? Because I'm independent and I want my own. Okay, but is it one of the best like 
the best advantage is to having a man in your life to like not be having a, you know all that responsibility on yourself it is but it's best to always have a backup for your own i feel it i feel it so what about for you from your your pov would you rather you know she uh y'all relationship be 50 50 and y'all share like the responsibilities or would you rather you just handle everything 10 toes on your own because that's you know how it's gonna shake is how it's gonna move based on you definitely you know what i'm saying 50 50 you know what i'm saying okay. like, as long as we both in the same for the same boat that's what i'm, I'm cool for you know what i'm saying i feel it i feel it i'm not mad at it. i don't know what a melt it needs to be melted folks you gotta melt it folks i, don't, I ain't gonna take it like that folks I don't want that now. I don't want it. They got me too. They got me too. Okay, no, you know, huh? No, hit the cheese. Can you melt it? You gotta you should be able to melt the cheese. You gotta melt it, folks. Like bare minimum. That shit was kind of crazy. Yeah. They they got me earlier too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. They got me. They got me like that, folks. I feel it. I'm business. Can you melt the cheese? Who are you looking for? That easy. That's simple. Yeah. But yeah, I appreciate you, G. Uh, you, dropping gems like a clumsy king. I'm fucking with it. Till next time, peace. We just been it. Find the baby, bro. Oh, yeah, what's up? Y'all from out here? No, I'm not from here, but I live here, though. Now, where you from? Tennessee. How long you been? Uh, I was 24. Why are you trying to fight? How old are you? Nah. I just turned okay today. It's my birthday. Uh -oh. 30. 27. Okay, Steve. Well, that's not okay. So, oh, if it's your birthday. But no matter what the shot is? What is the shot? <laughs> Some, what's my phone? Oh. You said my ID, huh? Yeah, let me see your ID. Hey. You showed it. She said she about to take a shot with me for my birthday. What that say? Oh, oh that's birthday. crazy. Oh, that's crazy. It is my birthday. Shots for everybody. Bill. Yo. All right, we all going to take one shot together. Where? What's back, boy? Oh, he's on the phone. All right, we're going we're gonna to get that later. But, uh, all right, I'm going to get in between y'all real quick. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, a.k.a. Coke Sedan, here on JV TV. I'm here with the lovely Carmen. No, I'm not gonna let you fall. I got you. Don't worry about it. And the lovely Mimi. Mimi from Tennessee. But she with us here today in H Town on my birthday. I'm so glad you can make it, Mimi. Okay. Your skin is skinning. I gotta let you know. Melanin. Hey, it's popping. Yes, uh first question for y'all. What's the pettiest thing a nigga ever did that you cut him off for? Um ripping my windshield. Uh, window. You say he ripping it? it? Like yeah, he, he ripped it off. Why he? What, what you did to make him do that? I don't know. His homeboy liked my story, and that's what he did. You don't know. His homeboy liked my story, and he got mad at me because of that. So he ripped the windshield right for mm. oh, My memory is not good. Niggas. Oh, how do you remember it? That's crazy. Oh, no, no, no. I was not there. Oh, okay. Oh, Just no, check no, it. No, got there. you, got you, got you. Okay. Well, what's the... What's, What's the pettiest thing you ever did? Don't put me on the hot spot. This is a petty girl right here. Is it? Nah, a nigga. What's the? I don't know. What's the pettiest thing a girl ever did that you cut her off for? Bitch told me she was pulling up and ain't come. Uh, nah, that ain't petty. That ain't that's nah. petty. You nah, standing nah, up all nah, night nah. waiting? No, nah, I'm saying like that's a that's an understandable reason to cut somebody off. If well, I'm if petty. I'm waiting on, I don't I ain't. I mean, oh, shit, I stand on that shit. If you ain't come, I'm, right I'm still waiting on her answer. I'm not even that petty, honestly. My I'm life is peaceful. What's the pettiest thing a nigga did that made you cut him off? That's what I'm trying to find I, out. Mm, my life no, is peaceful. Mine is nothing he like hers. Uh, oh, he oh, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Um, I wouldn't give a nigga my number. I feel it. That's not and he got bad. mad at me. And he got mad at me because I, I went, only wanted to text him, him on Instagram. You cut him off. But that's about it. My life is simple. I like peace. Peace. Yes, peace is important. Resting your femininity. Yes. I feel it. I see it in you. Exactly. Okay, boom. My next question for you. What's the uh how many how many how many how many dates it take for you to cut off your roster? I don't know, it depends on the vibe though. Okay. Cause like if I'm really feeling you and we constantly going on dates and you consistent and you planning dates out, I don't know. 
I like your accent. You sure you're from Tennessee? That's a Tennessee accent? Yeah, but I've been down here for a minute, so oh, I might have okay, picked okay, up a okay. little New Orleans. All right. No, yeah, all right, all right. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Okay. So it just depends on the vibe. You don't got a set amount of dates. Yeah. So it could just be one date? No. 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 Past one date, definitely. I think Pat, when he spent more than $500 a year, <laughs> or like a thousand. And how many dates is taking a nigga to do that? <laughs> it just depends. Depends. It depends on what the person. So when he spent more than a thousand dollars, then he can talk to you exclusively. No. No. Oh, you still talking to other niggas? Yeah. So what a nigga got to do to get you, you gotta exclusive? Keep, you got to keep one just in case. Even if that nigga doing everything he needs to. Nah, niggas are liars. Women ain't. No, I don't lie. What you call it? Girl math? No, I don't. I don't have to lie. I feel it. All right, babe, last question for y'all. Mm -hmm. What's a sign you know you got a fake-ass friend around you? Hey, like hey. little shit. Like, let's say Talk let's say it. you wearing an outfit. Right. She say you don't look good. What? That shit look fire as fuck. But what if you really don't look good? But what if you do look good? I feel it. I see exactly. the vision. Exactly. Yeah. She either going to help you look good or right. she going to tell you that shit look trash when you really okay. look good. The help it makes the difference. Mm. The assistance makes the difference. Mm. I feel it. I feel it. What about you? Um, sneak dissing. What's an example of sneak dissing? <laughs> Don't get mad at me. Don't say niggas only want light skinned bitches because I get more niggas than you. That you feel like that happens often with like friends? Yeah. They be like you light skinned so you getting all the niggas. Yeah, but that's not even the truth. I believe niggas, it. Niggas dog is light skinned bitches too. You gotta be pretty and light skin. You can't just have a light skin. She's pretty, beautiful. No, that's facts. That's facts. My beautiful baby. Yeah, we go together real bad. Real bad. Yeah, real bad. All right, and where y'all from? What's your name? Where y'all from again? My name is Mimi. I'm from Tennessee. Mimi from Tennessee. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. And you one last time? I'm Carmen. I'm from Texas. Hey, she from Texas. What part of Texas? All over. Respect, gang. I feel it. Hey, y'all heard it here first. Till next time, peace. We just finished. Oh, well, but before we cut anything, my friend said they're going to take some shots with me since it's my birthday, so... They, you know, they honorable oh, people that they were. From Tennessee, look, you from Tennessee, that's perfect. I don't want oh, no shit. She from Tennessee, it's, it's perfect. Go. That's what I'm saying. I don't like no, you. Where y'all get this from? What you mean? What you prefer? Can you take a shot first? I just need to make sure yeah, it's good. Yeah, we need you to take a shot first. Yes. Actually, you <laughs> need all the niggas to yeah, take the shot out. first. Because. You said, why me? <laughs> because. <laughs> why me? Come on, take that shot. I don't care. You can still hold it for one shot. Okay, well, so you gotta take one next. Come on, hurry up. Come on, on nigga. Right. I just need to make sure it's cool. You try to get drunk or what? Come on, hurry up. Hurry up before it's 24. Which nigga? What nigga? He's not going to be my ass. Tell her again. <laughs> I know he's not going to be my ass, but still, come on. The NFL is a funny guy. You already took your shot? No, I'm waiting so, on y'all first. Yeah, I was the first nigga to take him. Nah, I seen that shit. I got it you just take a shot. Hey, you just watched me take a shot. Don't go with you. Nah, I didn't see you. Damn, friend, you really okay, trying to fight me? Okay, just take one more. You not doing this. Just take one more. Okay. Damn, your man be running you, huh? You iron out. You got a man? No. You, she looking, looking. You don't got a man? Right. <laughs> she yeah. looking. How many men you got if you can't get up? You got at least Are you a friend? No. No. Okay. Yes. 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 I appreciate you celebrating my birthday with me. We got to lock in and celebrate again. When your birthday? May 30th. Big Gemini. Big Gemini. My dad didn't make So you can do all your model poses that you always be hitting in the mirror when you're at home at the crib. <laughs> you can bring out your, your singing voice when you be like in the shower, you know. It has to be to a song I know. What's your favorite song? Um, Barbie Girl. 
No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, I don't know. I have a lot of them. You got a lot of favorite songs? Mm -hmm. YouTube? My favorite song is Ivy by Frank Ocean. Mmm. Okay, yeah, you know, okay, yeah, you spitting right now. That's a, that's a good favorite song. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna play you that hoe if you haven't heard that. That's some good ass music right there. Play it right now? Yeah. Hey, Blur. You can put on Ivy by Frank Ocean. <laughs> 